What's going on guys? Today we are going to learn Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. This is actually a surprising song. I wasn't expecting it to sound how it did, but it's pretty cool. It's actually pretty interesting to learn on the guitar, so let's get right into it. If you're a complete beginner, you are going to find the song tricky, so start instead with my free beginner course by clicking right here. Otherwise, let's get into the song. All right, so there's the intro, and this is where we're gonna start off the strumming pattern that we're gonna see for most of the song. So it's gonna be thumb on your bass note, and then down, up, down, up. And that's gonna be on this version of a G chord, which you can see on the screen. And then you're gonna to switch to a G7, which is a bit of a stretch here. But you can also play that with these fingers if it's easier. So first finger on the first fret of the E string, pinky on the third fret of the B string, and then third finger on the third fret of the low E. So that, or that, whichever one works for you. And then we're gonna move into the chorus, which is using this main rhythm that we're gonna feel for most of the song, which is what we just learned there. So all that is, is playing the bass note of each chord that we're gonna be on, and then down, up, down, up. As for the timing, it's a bit of a swing rhythm, because this is kind of a 60s sounding song. So just kind of listen to my rhythm and follow along and try and replicate that, rather than trying to count this out, it'll make it a lot easier for you. All right, now moving into the chorus, it's gonna sound like this. So you can hear we're using that same rhythm that we learned in the intro. It's just bass note with your thumb and then down, up, down, up, and get that swing rhythm of just the bump, ba dump, ba dump, ba dump to kind of swing you along through this whole tune. So we're gonna start on a C, just our normal C, and then your bass note is gonna be on the fifth string, and then you're just gonna do the down, up, down, up. So you play that swing rhythm twice, and then you switch to an E7. And you do the same rhythm. Then you're gonna to switch to an A minor seven, which is the same fingering, just move down a string. Now your bass note is on the fifth string. Then you're gonna to switch to a D minor seven, and now your root note or bass note is on the fourth string. And you're just gonna do that rhythm once before switching to a G7 again. And that ends up your chorus. Your G7 is just gonna be played bass note down up instead of two down ups. So slowly for you, here's the full chorus. Just try and follow along. And there's the full chorus. Okay, so moving into the verse, this is what it's gonna sound like. So we've changed up our rhythm here a little bit. This time we're doing this bouncy rhythm back and forth between two different strings on our bass notes. 
So this is actually a technique called Travis picking where we're alternating our bass notes to, be, to give a really old school bluegrassy kind of feel. So starting on a C chord and you're gonna do fifth string down up, then move this third finger to the sixth string and then do sixth string as your bass note. Down up. So that's what we're alternating. You see how we're just going back and forth on these two different strings. So you can go back and forth four times on the C chord. Then you're going to switch to an E7. We've already seen that one before. And you're going to do the same thing, switching between the fifth and the sixth string as your bass note, but nothing changes on the left hand this time. And you're just going to go back and forth twice on this chord. Then we're going to switch this time to an A minor chord and do the exact same thing. And then to end off this section, we're going to switch to an F minor. And instead of playing a Travis picking this time, we're just going to do a single bass note and then two down ups. So all together, this section sounds like this. And then to continue on the verse, we're gonna do the same thing we just played here, except this time the C chord you're also only alternating twice instead of four times like in the first run through. So now the second run through of this verse is just this. So you can see how that's the exact same as the first run through of the verse, just the C chord is only played for half as long. So you put those together and you have the entire verse. All right, now we're gonna move into the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus together is gonna sound like this. So you can see the pre-chorus is actually pretty cool here. We've got a walking bass run on this A minor seven that we'll get to in a second. So starting out the pre-chorus with the same F minor that we ended the verse with. And then we're switching to an E, not an E seven, but a full E. And we're gonna do Then we're gonna to move to an A minor seven and we're gonna do this walking bass. So we're gonna do. So this is an A minor seven with the open fifth string. And then you're gonna do pinky on that fourth fret of the sixth string. Might be a bit of a reach. Then two strums, third finger on the third fret of the E string. And then to end this off, you're gonna to switch to a D with your first finger on the second fret of the E string, second finger on the second fret of the G string, and third finger on the third fret of the B string. And just do the bass note and a single strum. That one's gonna be a bit tricky, but you can get it with practice. Just try a little bit. It's not gonna come immediately, but you will be able to get it if you just try it for a few days, so don't give up too quickly. Mm -hmm. 
and you're going to add that same kind of swing feel into this that we've been playing the whole song with. And then to end off that pre-chorus, we are going to do our same D minor 7. Into our G. And that right there is a full pre-chorus. So here's the full thing slowed down for you. Now here's the full pre-chorus. So after that, we're gonna move into another chorus, which is just the same as the previous chorus. And then we're gonna move into this entirely different ending section. And this ending section is just two minutes straight of All right, so what we're doing here is we're playing power chords starting on a C5, and we're gonna play two sets of triplets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six strums, and you're emphasizing the first one and the fourth one. And that's the rhythm we're gonna use for all of these. I'm also going to palm mute it to give it kind of a more subtle feel, which is just putting the side of your palm on the guitar right here, on the guitar right here to sort of mute the strings, but not completely mute them. And you're gonna go from a C5, to an E5, to an A5, and to an F5. So that whole section is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And basically you're just gonna repeat that for the entire rest of the song. Now one thing you'll probably wanna do is listen to the song and in some parts it's heavier, some parts it's quieter. So take off your palm mute and just go loud and rock out for those heavier parts and palm mute it for the softer bits. So all you're gonna do when you wanna go louder and heavier is just take off the palm mute and rock out. And here you're gonna wanna play loud, play strong. Don't worry if the frets are buzzing a little bit. This is a rock part, so just let it go. If it's a little bit messy, that's fine. That makes the song even better. So listen to the song to figure out which parts you wanna palm mute versus play louder. And kind of follow the wave of that so you can follow the energy of the song. But with that, you can play all the parts of the song. And with that, you can play the entire song. I hope you liked this video. If you learned something from it, please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. It really does make a difference. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get my latest videos right as they're posted. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.